Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. We're back with the Lee Key Drive 1 ounce slug testing. Now Ben Baker was kind enough to send me a whole bunch of these slugs for me to test out because his grouping was so bad with them and we wanted to find out what was going on with these things. In this test we'll be using a Benelli Nova 12 gauge shotgun with a rifle choke and I'll explain what that is. Many field shotguns have threads at the end of the barrel. This is to accept different size chokes. And these just thread in to the end of the barrel and each one has a slightly different taper to it. And they kind of act like a nozzle to control the shot pattern. I looked around to see how much a rifled barrel for a Benelli was and it was over $600 for the cheapest one I could find. So what I did, I looked for a rifled choke tube I found this one on eBay. It's five inches long, about two inches longer than all the other ones I saw on various uh, sporting good websites. And it's about half the cost. It was under $30 delivered to me. And my experience with this eBay seller was so good, I wanted to tell others about him. He sells a lot of gun parts too. So check out my description for a link to his auctions. Bioki. Okay, whenever you're ready. I don't know where that one went. This next shell is a old Remington Peters shell, probably 20 years old, just in my collection of old shotgun shells and uh, we'll see how that compares to the newer stuff. Winchester. Overall, our grouping was much better than when we shot it with the Mossberg 590, which is basically a riot shotgun and not a shotgun you'd use to take out hunting. In fact, all the other hunters would probably be making fun of you. This first shot using the Fiocchi shell was a failure. I don't think it's a reflection of, of Fiocchi itself, just a fluke, but this is something that happens with other shells too, where the entire wadding gets shoved up into the cavity of the, of the slug and it never releases. And the experienced shooters that are much more familiar with these slugs than I am have all kinds of remedies for that. The shooter that we have today is just a random guy I found at the rifle range and I talked him into shooting for me. It's a lot easier for me to film. So I basically gave him one practice shot, just told him to aim at that yellow sticker on the target stand. But you'll see that most of his shots are off to the left a little bit, just a few inches. But he is very consistent with his shots, as you'll see. And also bear in mind that this shotgun doesn't have any rear sights, no optics at all on it. He's just using the front sight, and despite that, he's doing pretty well. And you'll notice in this shot, the, the slug is tumbling, has a piece of wadding stuck in it, but not to the same degree as that Fiocchi shell in the first shot. In the first video, I saw several comments from people saying they liked the Federal target loads because they have a two-piece wadding, and we had pretty good performance. We saw a good rotation, and uh, somehow he made it through the same hole as he as shot before. Now this next shot is a Rio low brass shell that originally had one and a sixteenth ounce of lead shot in it. It's slightly hotter than the other shells, 
and we saw a little bit of that sine wave kind of uh, up and down motion that we saw uh, shooting it out of the Mossberg 590 smoothbore. In the first video, a few people were really angry because I didn't use high brass because, you know, if a little is good, then a more is going to be better, right? But that's what it looks like. We had another situation where the wadding, or at least a piece of the wadding, is still stuck in that cavity. And we don't really see any increase of velocity or anything like that, though. Now, our first video, we were purposely being kind of sloppy, shoving these slugs into off the shelf uh, birdshot shells for the most part, and then shooting them out of a riot shotgun with an unrifled barrel, very short barrel. And for what it was, it was pretty acceptable. And of course, with a rifle choke tube, we saw different results. And we saw different kind of varying uh, degrees of rotation on these things. Some of them looked like they were spinning really well, others not so well. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. And if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.